That stinking traitor, the Mariff, might be dead, but I hate leaving a job unfinished. Sure, I can't kill him again, much as I'd love to, believe me, but I can make sure no one remembers he ever existed. Here old Huckster kept kind of a diary about his exploits, hid three juicy echoes in his office. I want him gone. Find him. Destroy them. Let's wipe his grubby slate clean. This feels pretty far from professional. I have a job for you. You take, yes? Nurse Nina need you for love. No, <laughs> come out wrong. Nina lonely. Need partner for love times. Nina find three, how, how do you say, suitors. Suitors not know they're suitors yet. Take flowers, take love cards from table. size of a space station a freaking space station those are those are pretty big Seriously, in the fish tank? What a prick! Come on, let's hear the old goat one last time. I stop you, c First day on the new job, and yeah, it's great to be king. I've worked bloody hard to get here, greased multiple palms, and kissed more than my fair share of asses. But it's worth it. Concordia needs someone like me to steer it through some choppy waters. Tough. Fair, just the right amount of open-mindedness, and if a bit of extra money happens to fall into my pocket as I do my job, well, I'll just call that campaign finance. Feels great to leave Hyperion. There I was just a small cog in a huge machine. But here, here, I'm a big fish. I really need to work on my visual metaphors. Point is, the future's rosy for Huckster T. Meredith, a.k.a. Concordia's new Merith. Merith. 
a mayor, and a sheriff. <sighs> wow, how much crap can one guy shovel? Man, I did the universe a favor wiping out his back shooting hey, traitor's Ray. ass. You know what to do. See you around, mate. Therapeutic. Okay, keep stooping around for another Put one. Put another in me! <laughs> the old moving bookcase, huh? That guy was a walking freaking cliche. Nobody puts stuff behind bookcases anymore. Who even has books? Let's have some fun and see what else our bull shoveling pal had to say for himself. Quiet! Everything's going according to plan. I'm richer than my wildest dreams. Popular. <laughs> Alive. The other day, Philo Simmons, the guy with the weird leg, came to the office to thank me for the work I did with the food drive. Thank me! Shook my hand! Tears in his eyes! Can you believe it? Trembling chin in the works! I'm a flippin' saint! Why can't I sleep anymore? Sure, I didn't use all the money on food, but a man's got to live. I mean, a little bit. But I'm still what this place needs, aren't I? It's a hard universe, and yeah, I... Well, I can still turn this around. I can... I can still change. Uh, a guy like that doesn't grow a conscious overnight. He said it himself. He was happy to steal the food out of other people's mouths. Sure, it's a tough universe, but there's no excuse for being an asshole. Unless you're funny with it. Then it's kind of totally fine. But he wasn't even funny! What's up? Hey, that on your head! In his own office? Okay, I actually gotta respect that. Still, guy's an asshole. Was an asshole, I should say. Why listen to this? Just destroy the thing, will ya? I never leave a mission unfinished. And I have to admit, I'm curious to hear what he had to say. Fine. Man, who's the boss here? Hey, Ray! She came last night, pal, bitch. Made me betray Hyperion. Not that I care about the board, money grubbers. Just the clueless workers I'm probably helping to kill. I'm done, I'm out. I could feel the last of whatever it is I cause, so I'll be destroyed as I accepted a payment. <laughs> but I didn't want to die. And if I didn't do what she said, who knows what she have done to Concordia. But I did have the keys to Helios. <sighs> If I leave, then maybe Zavadan and her purple army will leave my people alone. I'll go somewhere. I'll try to make a fresh start. Atone for my sins. I know I'm running away. I'll be coward. I'm the biggest ass on the moon. And there's some asses on that moon, but I'm the biggest. So Hux was crawling around searching for some kind of redemption, huh? Well, I'll give him redemption. In fact, let's immortalize him in song! Don't destroy that last echo. Grab it. Take it to Moxie's and give it to those DJ assholes. Boom and rang. They owe me a favor. I got them the gig. Something up, but I think you're gonna like it. Combination, combination. See you around, mate. Man, even his.
his statue is ugly. Let's improve it and remove the head. Shoot it or whatever. This is gonna be fantastic. This feels pretty far from professional. Yeah, do it. ourselves a little launch party. I don't really get where this is going. Yeah, if this comes out anywhere close to how it is in my head, everyone in this town's gonna be talking about it for like pretty much ever. Such as Okay, see that spike on the end? The rocket needs a new figurehead. Jump right up there and decorate it. <laughs> ah, perfect! His smug face will smash into whatever crap hole we fire it at. Speaking of which, put in some coordinates for this ship to fly to... I don't know, how about Pandora? Does the planet have a butthole you can send it to? Other than this one, of course. <laughs> Looks like we're ready, yeah, people. Should not. really have a bottle of bubbly to smash against the side, but whatever. Launch it! Also, let's get some party music going. Hey, DJ assholes, let's hear that remix. Let's do it again sometime. 